Hi, I'm Curly Sue and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making sugar-free jam. Now, I usually, well, not usually, I usually buy, yeah, I usually buy sugar-free jam. Now, there are some on the market that, um, well, they're not really the nicest tasting jams you can buy. They've got saccharin in it and all sorts of artificial sweeteners that have a funny aftertaste when you have them. And there are some jams that um, don't have all of that junk in it. They are sweetened with apple juice or so forth. They are quite expensive. So today we're going to learn, I'm going to show you how to make your own jam at home. Really simple and easy to make. And it's much more cost effective. And it's even cheaper if you have, um, if you grow fruit in your own garden and you can get the fruit for free basically. So let's get started. So for this recipe you're going to need two cups of whichever fruit you're using. Now because these are small berries you don't need to chop them up but if they were strawberries or something of that sort of size or bigger then you need to chop them up but because these are small raspberries, blueberries, stuff like that doesn't need to be chopped up. So two cups of raspberries, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons of agave syrup, or you can use maple syrup as well, and two tablespoons of chia seeds. Place the fruit into a saucepan and cook until it becomes syrupy, so it should take between five and 10 minutes. And this is how it looks when it starts to look kind of syrupy so you can see that I didn't put any water in here so because the fruit has liquid in it it starts to go like this so now we're going to put in the lemon juice and the agave syrup Then we're going to add in the chia seeds, like so, and give it a stir, and these are what are going to thicken the whole mixture. Give it a good stir to bring it all together. Now it won't be thick like regular jam, but it'd be thick enough. But if you want it thicker, you just add more chia seeds, but just do it a teaspoon at a time until you've got the consistency that you require. And I'm just going to taste it to make sure it tastes okay. It's always good to taste the mixture when you're making stuff. a tiny bit more agave. Should do it. Mm, tastes fine. And what you need to do now is leave it to cool and then transfer it into a jar. And once it's cooled, just put it into a jar and you can store it in the fridge for however many days that it lasts really. And there you have it, raspberry jam made with no sugar. And once it's cooled, transfer it into a jar, something like this, and it will last, you store it in the fridge and it will last for about four to five days. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And don't forget to comment. If you make jam, how do you make your jam? Um, tell me in the comment section below. Um, eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.